and be beloved as a professional man. And at that time, I need to take the hard decision to give up everything in my country and come to Taiwan to start a new life, start uh, with a new beginning, new friends, like that have become new family and everything. Um, uh, there's uh, so uh, there's another reason is is a little dark. It's because uh, Asia's economic development, as you know, like those Asian countries, like emerging markets, they are growing so fast. Like Singapore, uh, Shanghai, Shanghai, uh, and then they are growing so so fast. So uh, as you know, like for everybody in the whole world, it's a uh, very important to get in contact with Asian culture to learn how to deal with you all, how to deal uh, with you like doing business and everything, and how to communicate with Asian people, especially from Chinese. And another reason is like when I came to Taiwan at that time, I really liked it because I think there are so kind people and especially for the people because I see Taiwanese are really, really, really nice to foreigners. And the other reason I think that this is the main one for me as a foreigner is to learn Mandarin, to learn Chinese. Because what, what would be the difference between studying international business in my country and studying international business in Taiwan? The only difference that we can find is like here, I have the opportunity to study that major in Chinese, so my Chinese will become better. And as I said, the people. Um, at that time, I came here with a group of Dominicans. We were 18 uh, people from the Dominican Republic. Uh, 11 of 12 from them, they're back to my country again. And but they're from uh, some of us that we stayed in Taiwan. Some are saying the soft part, there are some in Taipei, and I, I was the only one from that promotion that took here in Freedom University. Uh, the first year studying Mandarin. Oh my goodness. I, I think like Kalisha will agree with me. This. Like, it was crazy, totally crazy. It was. Oh my, I, I don't have words to describe how, how hard it was because uh, as you, I used to participate in a lot of uh, scholar activities in my country to have a good qualification at school, a good grades and everything. But when I came to Taiwan, I just found out like the words totally different as I thought it was. When I came here, I took my first Chinese test a month after arriving to Taiwan. You know how much I got in that school? Can you guess how much I got in that test? Yeah. Zero. It was, I was desperate and, and I was like, oh my goodness, so disappointed of myself. And at that time, I so said, how come? Like, never in my life, never in my life, like, a zero, it was like, I did nothing. And at that time, I remember that day, I went back to my home, and I was alone in my bedroom, and, and I just prayed to God, and I said, if you really want me to stay in Taiwan, like, please make it possible for me to learn Chinese, because at that time, everything sounds the same. Ma, 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 ma. Everything sounds the same for me. And everybody like it. the professor, she like intended to say like it's different, but no, it's the same. I think she feels like it's the same. It's here. But um, I see everything with consistency should succeed. If you have consistency in what you do, if you believe in yourself, you must succeed. And another thing is determination. When you have a goal you're definitely going to find a lot of trouble to achieve it. But you have, if you have the determination to go beyond your dreams, to go be all beyond your goals, you're going to figure out like who you really are. You're going to figure out what is your real purpose in this life. 
And another thing is patience. If you do things with patience, with your heart, if you really like what you do, you're going to realize like things are going to become easier. And as I said, that time was really hard. But I remember one day I was talking to a friend uh, from Russia and he told me one phrase. Nobody said it would be easy. When, you're, when you decide to go beyond your dreams, anybody says it's going to be easy. But if you believe in yourself, although the reality that you see in the moment, like everything is going bad, everything is like disappointing to you, but if you believe in yourself, you're going to go to, through the door of the dreams. You're going to, be, to get your dreams come true. And like the determination, I really believe in God. And I believe like when you are really determined to do something, God is going to help you to achieve it. And yeah, this is like this, the beginning of my new story. It's like international business department. I think I'm really blessed to come to this department, to have come to this department. It's, this is what I love, trust me. If you see me like when I'm attending to class, I'm so patient and like asking questions, everything, interacting with the professor and, and talking. And, but it's because I really love it. I, I, I do love international business. I do love management and everything. And as I say, in, when you come to the department, you know that you have a lot of things to do, a lot of homework, a lot of like hard classes like uh, statistics and accounting and microeconomies and those kind of stuff that make your head well explode. Um, but in this department, we have a diversified opportunity of learning. Uh, our director, professor, they are always preoccupied to get our best for us. And there's a wider opportunity of meeting people, classmates, unforgettable friends, and opportunity to grow professionally. In our department, we have a lot of uh, industry visiting, like chi is And then um, in those kind of activities, we can like see naturally what are we going to do in the future. Friends, like there are unforgettable friends. I, 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 yeah, friends that have helped me to grow up, have helped me growing up, and I really thank them because if it wasn't because of them, I, I don't think I, I would like be courteous enough to be here. And some competition and contests that I have attended in Taiwan, there are some like, uh, I remember when I was like, Five months I arrived in Taiwan. I went to attend the Chinese speech contest. Yeah, it was really fun. Really, like having studied five months of Chinese and going to attend to a Chinese contest. And I remember when I said that news to my mother, my mother was like, "You're crazy." Yeah, how come? Like, do you think that you're really gonna do that? <laughs> to stand up in front of a big public and a big audience to speak in Chinese. And it's like, yes, I will do it, I will do it, I will do it. And it was great. We actually, we did a, a good job and a nice representation of our country in the competition. And the most recent one, I went to attend the ATCC. It's like Antonia Business Planning Competition. It's a, the biggest business administration and marketing competition in Taiwan. I went to represent Furen University and we went to the finals and it was amazing the opportunity that we had in there. Actually, that competition in the beginning, there were more than 3,000 contestants in the competition. And at the final, we already, we were like 20. Look, only the group that you see in the, the picture in the top of the uh, slideshow. And it was, 
this, I think, I think in my life, this is the most challenging things that I have in all my life. Because at that time, I had the opportunity to meet like the real manager, like the, the general manager from uh, Audi of in the entire Taiwan, being Mercedes Benz and all of manager from Taiwan, that I, I was really excited about it. And my future expectation is like to continue growing, continue learning, continue making friends, because I know there's, there will be enough for me. And I, be, I believe that if I continue believing in myself, and then believing in others and like encouraging others to believe this world will become better. Thanks for your attention.